Hello everybody and welcome to the uh, quarter-final between Shawnee and k uh, Also known as PTK from GFW. He has got a wizard and a babe and the fame. And it's at his stadium which is throw a rock and get the ref cancelled. Up against Shawnee who's got four re-rolls. Um, my favourite in this one, I, don't, I always find Necro really annoying as uh, as Chaos, particularly because I think they're crap and they shouldn't, uh, they just shouldn't be able to beat me. <laughs> it always frustrates me when they do. So I've got to pick Shawnee because uh, Claw Mighty is good and Claw Pom is brilliant, and there's really only two good players on the Necro team ever. And if you get those two out, you should be all right. PTK does have a strength five wolf though, which is pretty incredible. That is incredible, isn't it? And he's got a pommer, jugs pommer, lodge mighty. Um, a couple of all right fleshies. Dirty player, he's got to blitz the dirty player. He does not blitz the dirty player. Or has he got two? I right, was guard. I would still like to have hit the uh, dirty player though. I guess he's he's not gonna hit. He's not gonna get a decent. He might get a decent foul then. Is he gonna protect him? Yeah. Gonna be hard to foul him then. Uh, 14 players, like, you know, like, they're, they're annoying because they've got loads of players and they've got regen. But, I don't know, I feel like they lean so heavily on their few good players. If you can get a claw pump hit on their good players and take them out, they should lose, shouldn't they? 1 in 9 is horrible. I, I didn't realise he could protect him so well, to be fair. But the strength 4 guy there. And the best thing about... The best thing about Shawnee, he's got four rerolls, right? He could reroll the one in nine. Um, the best thing about Shawnee's team is the names. Um, the name of his team is Dimmy, <laughs> Dimmy from Dimmy J. I don't know if it's Dimmy G, but Jimmy, Dimmy's Dimmy, not Jimmy. Dimmy's Chalice teams. List of Dimmy's Chalice teams, and all of the names are blank. Oh my God! Apart from him, who was a journeyman. God, that's so good. I crease myself. I, it's a shame that I. That I had all of my laughter before the YouTube video started because I nearly died laughing at this. <laughs> Nameless. <laughs> Nameless players is incredible. Maybe he could have spread out the claw a little bit more to make uh, not such an easy hit for PTK here. Who knows? Maybe he could also not piled on, seeing as his only tackler is on the claw pommer. That's his only tackle. He maybe shouldn't have piled on, you know. PTK is K Fog because it's uh, past tense K Fog, or it's prime time Kevin, whichever one you want. He's killed the block guarder. And Shawnee uses an instant apple there. And because he's piled on, he's not he's got no threat to this guy. Classic classic blitz and dodge out from PTK. Widely regarded as as one of, if not the best, Blood Bowl player in the world. If you give K Fog a necromantic team, do you know what he does? He blitzes and fucking dodges away after he's <laughs> after he's followed up. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really like that apple. He's got loads of reserves. It's a it's a perm, so he's like it's only 50-50 to work, and he's just not that good. I guess it is a death, but he's already got so many players that giving him a player isn't that good anyway. So he's going for the three dice because he's got a strength fiver, so he can get a three dice on him, which is alright. But yeah, that's the that's reason why I didn't like the pylon, really. Um, TBH... Maybe he wouldn't have, uh, you know, maybe he could have blitzed with him and not even blocked with him and then kept him where the strength guy was. Uh, 
he really wants to knock down here. He'll re-roll this one. He'll greed this. 100%. No, he's got four re-rolls! Greed it, you asshole! <laughs> I mean, interesting decision by Shoney there. Not what I would have done, but who can say that it was right or wrong? Well, there you go. It looks like it was right now as he makes that block before making the pickup and gets to re-roll it. <laughs> I think I might have just gone straight for the pickup after that, to be honest. But now it's tricky, isn't it, with this wolf behind his lines? String 5 1 is an absolute nightmare. He can't run back. Because <laughs> that's asking for trouble. The wolf can probably get around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, G, 5, G. Probably can't really get around. Yeah, I think I would agree. I mean, if I had 4 re rolls. But then I would, probably wouldn't have piled on and I would have had a tackler there. And then he might not have even run it down if you have the tackle claw hammer there. Like greeting it just for a claw mighty hit isn't anywhere near as good as greeting it for a claw palm hit. Oh. Doesn't get the knockdown. Shawnee might be getting some claw mighty hits off this. <laughs> Strength 5, blodge tackle. <laughs> Movement 8, just sitting there at the back. There will be no potatoes against that bastard. Can you fire some away from the core, Pommer? Oh god, and then makes the dodge. Makes the zombie dodge as well. Disgusting. So only gets one mighty blow hit, which can push into a claw mighty, which is nice. If you can get a guard in here, which you probably can, you can punch him and then uh, claw palm him. Keep the dirty player out of the way. I wouldn't have minded taking the push there just to get the guard in on that guy. I mean, not, not that it really matters getting guard on him, but then it would give you a claw mighty hit, wouldn't it? And then you'd have a dude in there in a good spot. I would have probably taken the ball down, but I wouldn't have hated taking the push. Just because it kind of gets you out of the way to make the, the claw pump blitz, doesn't it, if you push him? You can then simply make this blitz, see what happens. In fact, I would have definitely taken the push. Now it's hard, like, he can't even get this guy in, can he? No, I think he, I think he should have taken the push and claw pumped him. What's he going to claw pump? He can't claw, like, he can't just blitz this asshole, can he? He's going to blitz a, a shitter, a shitter zombie. Well, gets the ball safe, which is pretty important. Goes for the two into one, gets the knockdown. Well, not really knocked down, but you know what I mean. Doesn't, doesn't fuck it. <laughs> he doesn't completely fuck it. <laughs> uh, he doesn't completely fuck himself. Now, uh, K-Fog is free to uh, frenzy this, this warrior if he wants. Which he does. 
No frenzy trap due to the option of pushing into the fleshy. Tricky for Sean, isn't he? he? Didn't get the uh, didn't get the removals he wanted off the OS, and now he's getting a bit banged on. Even attrition, but K Fog has still got regen on nearly everybody, and Shawnee has got no apple left. But he does have plus two movement and plus one agility on most players. And loads of skills on most players. Yeah, the wizard is scary as well, yeah. Yeah, surely he has the high. Surely he hasn't had the removals. Uh, to be fair, when I said I favoured Shoney, I didn't realise he only had one tackle. Only having one tackle is... is a bit shit. Oh god. Also rolling shit is a bad idea. You shouldn't be doing that. And this is why multiple claw pommers is good. If you're a rebel coach and you've read you've been told by Rebel that having <laughs> many claw pommers is bad, this is why having many claw pommers is good. Because if he had many claw pommes, he could be piling on with them all. Instead of never being able to pile on, because if he piles on, then his one tackler is down. And he's up shit creek without a paddle. And he still might be up shit creek without paddle, because that that uh, claw pommer can get pommed by, uh, by that white. I did not see any of the Gengar Rebel game. Yeah, but I mean, I didn't realise he didn't have tackle. <laughs> but that was the thing. I just didn't realise he didn't have tackle. I'm not. I'm not slaying Shawnee's choice. I just when I saw a two K TV, you know, when I saw a two K TV chaos team, I kind of figured he'd have more than one tackle. It's uh, it's not a knock on him. He's also only got one claw bomb as well, which is a bit crap. You'd really expect more so he's got a high roll like it's harder from the high roll people isn't it with uh, only one claw pommer ptk just doing the absolute the classic blood ball game of uh once you once you can make two dice blocks every team is exactly the same uh, k folk is proving that by making two dice blocks <laughs> pretty exciting Pretty exciting stuff. Some two dice blocks are being made. And now he can expose the wolf safely, seeing as there's only one tackler and he's stunned. And now it's looking very hard for Sean. Very hard. <laughs> it's fucking diamonds. <laughs> it's fucking diamonds for Sean now. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's the thing. Like, I mean, it depends, doesn't it? Like, it depends. Sometimes, sometimes the people not valuing stuns are the assholes that say, "Oh, it wasn't e this Kaz wasn't even a death." <laughs> And sometimes the cars aren't. Sometimes the stuns aren't so important. But obviously, when you've got one killer, when you've got one tackle and one piling on, and it's the same character and he's stunned, it's absolutely massive. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea to go down the side. <laughs> Not you, Moradam. No, I was thinking of somebody else. You may well be an asshole as well, but I did have somebody in particular in mind when I thought of that. <laughs> you could call him a Norse C-nut, maybe. 
I tell you what, though, list of Dimmy Chalice teams. I, I particularly like this guy. This guy's got a good name as well, and this one, Dimmy. I don't know how you thought of this name, and that one, brilliant. Great names, all of them. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> no, I don't think this particular person's an asshole. It's just uh, it's it's his shtick, isn't it? Is to say, is to complain about not killing things. So, like, if people are doing it for a laugh, it's different. But now, this guy's looking pretty isolated, isn't he? He could get fouled. He could get heavily fouled. There's all sorts of chains on, isn't there? Oh! Well, I thought he might have gone for a chain there. I well, might have chained the wolf free, but he's, he's not going to do that. Yeah, it's hard to... Uh, it's hard not to, though, isn't it, at the end of the day? Spy no-go. You should call all your teams Spy no-go now, and then you, people will think you've made the chalice. <laughs> Just based on Shorty's team. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. He could double GFI for 2D on the ball and into another 2D on the ball. <laughs> Why am I an asshole? Shorty's the one whose team is... List of Dimmy's chalice teams. <laughs> oh, he's just gonna block with a just gonna block with a fleshy to do it. Oh, that's that's much better. <laughs> yes, Sadders lad. Yes. <laughs> Incredible. Wow. Shomi's almost got away with this, apart from half his team being on the floor behind him. <laughs> like, it's looking pretty horrific. Pretty fucking horrific right now. But I guess he's just got to kind of push on, hasn't he, somehow? Got to blitz this guy, then block him, and then get through. Rough. <laughs> I thought Dimmy would have got in, to be honest, just by being in the Discord. I think if you're just in the Discord, you've got a pretty good chance of making it. I'm going to blitz the uh, flesh here. There. Nah, he's going to do that. Ah, so he doesn't need to hit the fleshy. Clever boy. Clever girl. <laughs> Dimmy, <laughs> savage Dimmy. Oh my God, good. Uh, no, no stand firm here, says PTK. Um, oh God, Shawnee's had some horrible dice. Good job he had four re rolls. This is why I hate Necro. Right? They shouldn't. They shouldn't even be in this. What the f like? What the fuck, man? What even are Necro? They're proper shit. They've got five absolute turds on the field. Like five of their players 
are just like the worst players in football, essentially. Two of them are stand firm Blackhawks. Not even good. <laughs> Two of them are move busted human blitzers. Crazy. Proper hate Necro. This could be dodgy if the if the throne had gone back. I'm not sure that I like that from PTK. I think I would have preferred maybe even pushing him this way. Because he's still got the blitz and a block around here. Like he's got all sorts of moves left. If it had gone back that way that would have been pretty annoying from scoring himself. It's an alright catch isn't it, yeah. Really wanted to push there at least, didn't he, PTK? Can't, can't think about re-rolling it though. He probably just moves the, moves this guy over here, doesn't he? Hits with a strength five. Oh, it's only a one of them. So he's gonna have to blitz. Push the wolf into uh, punching the uh, other guy if you want. Oh, you know I wanna. Nah, hard to make it. Hard to get a two D on him with him being. You know he's got two guards here, hasn't he? So yeah, just punch him. <laughs> this is looking pretty bad for this fleshy, but then uh, PTK makes his GFIs. They don't make much difference, but something's better than nothing. No rerolls for Shawnee. No knockdowns ever either. <laughs> Is this a dicing? It's feeling like it. Yeah, I can't really pile on, but then it just means he's going to get smashed by a wolf. Yeah, like piling, <laughs> piling on would have been awful. <laughs> but he could have done it just to not get, just to not get fucking clawed to fuck. Yeah, it's a good point. Um, PTK hasn't got anyone in range yet. Shawnee with basically no chance. Prime time Kev with just boring blood ball doing the right thing. How completely lame. <laughs> completely boring. You can't one D here, can he? But then you can't <laughs> you can't hit him either. He is gonna one D. Oh man. One D into one D. Oh. 
Oh, you know what I mean? Like he went for like the kind of best position blitz rather than trying to engineer a claw hit or anything from it. That's what I meant. PTK, he's the, he's the greatest of all time, isn't he? Wrestles him down, probably all right. Still got the curb palm, hasn't he here? 1D for a push and then Chia Fighter 2 dice him. That's pretty much the only player. Oh no, he's got he's got something over here, maybe. Definitely. He's got 2D into a Chia Fighter 2D. Does he do that? He could even go for the Wrestle Frenzy. Does he go for the Wrestle Frenzy? Yeah, maybe he does. Quickly move this. I'm not sure about that. Maybe his plan is the Wrestle Frenzy. I think he probably should have blocked him before moving him. Like, yeah, this is safe and it can't go wrong, but you're only suffering under double skulls here. And you might as well fish for the pal. Because this guy ain't good, is he? He's got a roll of 3 plus, but this has got a roll of 3 plus. So I would have preferred to have moved this guy, the stand firm guy, in there. To make this a 2D. Or do that block first to see if you got the power. See if you look the power first. I think he does the 1D now. It's just better than the dodge, isn't it? Because the 2 doesn't end your turn. Gets the push. Look a dog. Ah, uh, yeah, but then you needed him there as well. Ah, okay, so that's actually... Maybe Sean is just better than me. I still would have made this block first. <laughs> Pile on! Yes! Get fucked, rubbish. Rubbish Necro team. <laughs> I read all my Necros! <laughs> What can this guy do? Not a lot. So PTK's got some blocks, hasn't he? He's got some blocks to do. <laughs> Makes one of the least least impactful ones first maybe should have gone for the, the wolf first on one of these and then he could have blitzed him and then pom him maybe PTK's got plenty of bench. You'll definitely be fouling a guy if he dodges. <laughs> I don't know who he can foul. He hasn't knocked anyone over. <laughs> Could have fouled him, but just instantly removed him. Yeah, I mean, that's the nature of them, though, isn't it? Like, you know, their dice haven't been great, they haven't removed anyone, so they've struggled. BTK's dice have been uh, been better, and he's maybe played better. 
I didn't really like Shoney's pile on with only having the one tackle. Like, he isn't a pretty strong place, to be fair, PTK. You know, Shoney's only got the one tackler, and he's got the wizard as well as the threat. So it was a pretty rough, it was a pretty tough offence for Shawnee, to be fair. He kind of wanted to get the the Kaz machine rolling for him to really have a good shot, didn't he? Which is unlikely when you've just got shitheads with Claw Mighty. <laughs> His Claw Mighty just isn't that good? Really? Just isn't that good? Halloween, Gary. All these teams are dimmy. Brilliant stuff. Shoney's really leaving his uh, his ball carrier on the LOS. I guess he thinks he's just got to stop him and this guy's got block, which makes him better at stopping. Doesn't matter if he dies. He's got to just got to. He's got to. He's got to turn over PTK, hasn't he, or at least stop him. I don't know. I think I probably would have put the. And this guy's so good if you win the toss in overtime. It's probably worth putting a rookie on. I think I'd rather have a rookie than him. He's alright, only he? he's block, got block, he's got show hands, he's got kick off return. Like he's only got block on this drive. Oh, he gets the he gets the cheeky perfect D. Wouldn't be able to do this in Blood Bowl 2016. 2020 even. <laughs> Immediate attrition fireball. <laughs> I can't see PTK doing that, but you never know. <laughs> like, it's nice that he's got loads of guarders, obviously, Sean. Here. Like, you know, that's helped a lot, having so much guard. But he's really suffering not having tacklers and not having panning on, isn't he? Exactly, dog to the dog. Like, it's just super unreliable, isn't it, Claw Mighty? Like, Mighty Blow already is pretty nice. And Claw Mighty, it just, the Claw isn't, it's not adding that much. Like, it's adding a, it's adding a decent amount. Especially when you're making a bunch of hits with them. But, not like Claw Palm, is it? It's not like Claw Palm. It's nothing like Claw Palm. Claw Palm is where it's at. I wonder if he's just going to pick up with a wolf and then... Pretty hard to deal with a Strength 5 Bludger, isn't it? It's been interesting, really. It's been a bit, uh, it's been a bit, a bit, a bit of a dicing in favor of PTK. I mean, no, not a dicing, is it? The dice have favored PTK. Bit of a dicing. She only had four rerolls and like had to use them all on failed blocks. That's pretty unlucky, isn't it? Um, bit of a suspect Apo decision by Shawnee. He apo he appled this guy who died. Uh, PTK had a massive bench, so it was unlikely to be. Yeah. He had he had not great dice in the face of a not great matchup, really, isn't it? That it's really not a great matchup for him. He's only got the one one claw pommer. Only got the one tackler. And he was up against a wizard as well as a strength five werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> I 
This is a mistake, isn't it? You can hit the wolf here. Mistake from PTK, maybe? Or maybe it's a trap from PTK. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah. No, I wouldn't say a dicing, really. But some people are very loose with the term, aren't they? So, I think it's fair to say it's been, you know, an absolute dicing, the worst game ever. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, the dice have made it hard on Shawnee. There you go. Whatever, whatever words you want to use. <laughs> <laughs> like there's no there's been no quads into death or anything has there there's been no fail dodge into death you know nothing crazy just consistent consistently a bit shit for Shawnee and consistently decent for PTK instant reroll yeah not to not pile on either. Don't like that. I don't like it. I would have rather I would have rather blocked him and then uh, blitzed the wolf and piled on. Personally. But maybe Shawnee thought there was more value in going after the positional guy. With a stand firm. I don't know. Now he gets his pommer pond. I would call that crap personally. <laughs> Personally, if I was playing, I'd be like, oh my god, I can't believe he's let me pom his pommer. Why has he done that? But then he then he gets fouled, so it's just like, it's not good anyway. Maybe he should just, maybe he should have pommed this guy, or... Uh, but then he's only got one pommer, so maybe he just shouldn't pom at all, right? Maybe he should just blitz this guy with a claw mighty. Or blitz this guy with a frenzy guy, even. Isolate him on a on a rookie beastman, something like that. Maybe just not what he did. <laughs> like you don't want to you don't want to pile on there because you just get foul with assists. PTK going position first. Maybe his naff, his naff style, going for an absolute shitter instead of piling on his pommer. Like, I guess at the end of the day, PTK just doesn't care about the Pummer, does he? He's just got to score. That's all that matters for PTK. Oh, there's a fail dodge into removal. Well, now I'd call this terrible from PTK because he's letting me pom his Pummer. But I guess the thing is, if you do that, then because you've only got one into a piling on hit, into a pi into a dirty player foul as well. But if you do that, then you're stranding your tackler, aren't you, on the wrong side, and he busts down this side. So you've got to make sure this side's really strong if you take that blitz. He's not doing it. Why, why isn't he blitzing into a foul? I don't understand what's going on. He could run all the run the way through. That seems crazy. Maybe he's going to do it. Maybe he thinks it's that desperate that he'll do it. Maybe. Maybe he's going to go for it. Because he's got guys to come around the other side as well. Yeah. Yeah, maybe the situation is that desperate. Already. Well, the fact... No, he's not moving that guy up. It's an all right wolf, isn't it? <laughs> it just does a boring claw mighty hit. Can't even pile on. Weird how it's weird to me that these guys are like, uh, 
Oh, hello, Lupac. It's weird to me that these guys are trying to play Blood Bowl properly rather than just, uh, you know, claw pomming the guy's best player <laughs> or pomming the other guy's best player. <laughs> Actually trying to play pl properly. Interesting strategy, Cotton. <laughs> that was an interesting shout, though. Maybe it is looking so bad for Shawnee that the dodge through in the 2D was all right. He could have he could have tied these guys up a bit, couldn't he? And then maybe maybe that was the play. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He should have he should have he should have he should have gone down the rebel route, shouldn't he? He should have gone. He should have gone down the rebel route and gone for that <laughs> instead of that. <laughs> Probably. All right, just pile, just pile on. See what happens. But no, it, it, that's the thing. He, he's realised, I think, after the first turn that he can't afford to pile on uh, carelessly when he's only got one tackler. And in one turn, the PTK can make a break. And if the tackler's in the wrong place, he's up shit creek without a paddle, isn't he? And that one in nine dodge through didn't look good, but on the other hand, if it's the best you're going to get, it's the best you're going to get, isn't it? So maybe he should have gone for it. Oh. <laughs> PTK playing like the absolute average necro coach in CCL. How the mighty have fallen. Does this guy have sh sh stand firm? He does not. We could see a surf. We could see a cheeky surf. I would have made this block first, I think. Just to see what happens. Then you know if you if you're trying for the surf or not at all, don't you? Because if he powers him, he writes it off and then you can think about a different move. Whereas I think it's the surf's pretty good to go for. Maybe she left him in the middle. I guess it's hard for him to switch over at that side. Yeah, I don't. I didn't think Shoni would be thinking that at this point. But you know, if he was, he, I think he maybe he would have done that. He's got a big come on, punch him. He's got to punch him. Why haven't you punched this guy yet? There you go, I guess the push, gotta go for the surf. Don't like this. I would have pushed him there and then there and then oh, okay. Oh, I guess he doesn't need the assist. Oh, I don't know. This is this looks worse. He should have put him there, shouldn't he? And then he could have pushed him to there. Like if he pushed him here, he could have pushed him there, then surfed him, and then he can't surf you with a wolf. Gets the pow. Motherfucker. Yeah, exactly, Lupac. That's the thing, isn't it? Grind is just a pain in the ass. He's got to go back here. Does he have to GFI without a reroll? He doesn't. So he's going to go for the switch a little bit, but he, he, again, he can't get that far, can he? Especially if he doesn't get a knockdown. 
Maybe should have re-rolled that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. game one on a one in nine there. The whole game on a one in nine for PTK. Outrageous. Outrageous. <laughs> Outrageous. One in nine to lose there. And like, okay, you know, sometimes you've got to do that, haven't you, against good players? And if you if you fail it, you fail it. But um, it's tricky, isn't it? <laughs> even with a strength, even with a strength five wolf, <laughs> even PTK, and even with a strength five wolf. Fucking Necro. Oh man, and then he makes that dodge as well. Outrageous. Outrageous. He can hit the wolf this turn though. He can hit the big wolf. Easily. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just gotta push him, push him. And he can get two assists in. I think he's got to go for the, got to go for this, because he's like he's still got, he still got him pressed quite well, hasn't he? I think he can afford, even if he's being all thinky and like trying to play properly, weird or <laughs> fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> then um, you've still got to smash the fuck out of this guy with your claw pommer. Are you even playing Blood Bowl if you don't pom this this guy? Holy shit. I like the Wrestle Friends here to uh, hold back. <laughs> He's got to, hasn't he? He's got to. Get him in there. What are you playing at, Shawnee? <laughs> Getting his stand firm in. I mean, base, the thing base, is, he's, this won't fail. Oh, he's got I'm the tackle in as well. I'm not sure I like that. I'm not sure I like that. Because he's got, like, you know, a, a 1D to push him away from. Hasn't he? Can he if it's a push, he can push him there. If it's a power, he, he gets him free. And that's without thinking at all. I'm not saying that's the best idea. But it's uh, it's instantly a possibility. And it means if he gets away from the tackler, even if he just dodges away, right? He could just blitz with a wolf. And he could just dodge away, he's still got a reroll for it. Don't like committing the uh, don't like committing the committing his pommet just for a base. Like that could be a mistake. Shades of Chugman milk. <laughs> Where you know he's committing that guy. Big play. If he just kept him back there, and this gets a lot harder for him. Man milk here. Yeah. Because like PTK can 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 commit the reroll here. It's just that he's. He's risking another one nine for the match, isn't he? So the tackle isn't really an issue. There you go. Gives it. Tries to give it to the strength five. Oh no, that's not how you protect the ball. <laughs> 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 
Well, he's got a strength five here as well. Like off of the blitz, one, two, three, four, five. No, oh, not easy. It's got, no, this guy isn't free. No one's free here. He could be free. The block. You could get in with a GFI. So it's all just a little bit further than Shawnee would want, isn't it? Like he would like to be able to do all of this a bit, a bit safer than what it is. <laughs> yeah, like that's the, that's the risk, though, isn't it? You know, like if you if you saw Chug Man Milk's game uh, against Wayne Farah, where he pushed forward with his strength five, dude, and then Wayne Farah fucked off. This is basically exactly the same thing. one tackler on the team in this case and in that case it was the the fast boy of the team he's not blitzing with that guy wow interesting from Sean interesting from Sean I'm not sure about this Yeah. You can wizard and then uh, do something, can't he? Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, it's strange, isn't it? What does he do? Does he wizard the stand firmer and then blitz him? But then he's got to deal with him. Does he wizard him and then blitz him on a one into a two and then dodge away from tackle? That's not good either, is it? But you've got to feel like you kind of feel like he's got a wizard. He can just get free, can't he? Like if he can, like this is his turn. If he if he if he gets free this turn, he's just one. Bolt him, blitz him, pick up on a four, dodge away. You just fucking win. Oh. oh boy, look at this. He's gonna. <laughs> He's gonna block it. Him? Is he? Oh, he's just gone for the five plus pickup. He makes it. Oh my God, PTK, you dirty bastard! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the wizard! I'll just make the five plus pickup. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's an easy 2D, isn't it? I, I just can't believe Shawnee didn't even hit the wolf last time. <sighs> Has he just stood him up? Yeah. This guy's a non-factor. Well, unless he dodges. Do you block him and then just 2D him without, block, without tackle? Or does he 2D him and then 1D him with tackle? 
I guess you can one D with tackle is better, isn't it? One D with tackle is better than a two D without. Player loop but yes. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe he didn't hit him when he had the chance. Like twice he's had the chance to just hit him. He had the chance to claw upon him and he had the chance to like wrestle frenzy him. I think he had to. I just think he had to. Yeah, yeah, he can bolt then blitz, can't he? And then he's he's home and dry. Bolts this guy, blitzes this one. Or either way, it doesn't matter, does it? Might as well, he's home and dry, isn't he? He doesn't need to, but he might as well, because it's sterile and he likes the taste. And he can get completely free, can't he, with a bolt. Is it PTK? Maybe Sean. I don't know. Maybe maybe Sean. He wanted to like you know. Maybe maybe uh, maybe Sean. He tried too hard to play clever blood ball. I don't know. I feel like he should have just fucking smashed smashed the fucking strength five. I can't believe he didn't smash him with claw palm when he had the chance. And then I also can't believe he didn't hit him with a with a wrestle frenzy when he had the chance. <laughs> yeah, Murray Dam, yeah. <laughs> I think uh, I think Flicky Flack might be doing it. Because I think he was the one doing it. I might have stepped on his toes a little bit. Um, no, PTK took nothing. Absolutely nothing. Which is pretty fucking lucky, isn't it, to be fair? At least people had the option here. Eh? Like I, I, I don't mind if I'm gonna commentate a game. I don't mind if someone else does, but some people don't like it. Do they? I just saw it was on. I thought, oh, oh, great matchup. Oh man, look at that. He's doing the old. The old little, the old little dance. Can't believe that Shawnee didn't smash him with curl palm. Right is the only hope. Um, PTK has the anti throw rock and bribe, so there could be a riot. Yeah, I hate Necro. I proper hate them. I don't even care that they, they can win games. I just fucking hate them. <laughs> BTK. <laughs> yeah, hate hate basically everything to be fair. <laughs> and this nearly wasn't. This almost wasn't a uh, a necro team. It was just mostly a strength five werewolf team. And Shoney had the chance to claw pom it, and the chance to wrestle frenzy it. Didn't take either one. And before you know it, he's fucked off and he's won the game.
<laughs> You're very welcome, Lupak, and everybody. And by all means, check out Flicky Flack. I didn't do this to, uh, to, uh, you know, piss him off <laughs> or anything. So there you go. Check out Flicky Flack. <laughs> um, yeah, the five plus pickup. Outrageous, wasn't it? I think if I was going for that play, I would have wanted to have uh, bolted one of them and gone for a four plus pickup on it, probably. But I guess, you know, if he thinks the chance of showing his counter score is low, then he keeps the wizard for overtime or whatever. Play two games a month. That seems about a healthy amount of games to play, to be fair. Tight LOS. Will Shawnee go for the six man, uh, the movement six one turn? He could do. He really could do. This is a, this is a pretty bad sell from PTK, right? He's given him the, uh, the thing to do it. Like, okay, he's got men behind, but. Like, he's got the three thing and the thing. He's got the thing and the thing. Oh, I know it's against Raya, but still, it's... It's, uh... It's given Shoney, like... Almost no odds at a one turn. Whilst defending against the Raya. So it is undoubtedly the right thing to do. But, there's still a chance. <laughs> Telling me there's a chance. <laughs> yeah, ridiculous kick. And he's probably got mix like some crazy dodges here. To even be able to do it. It's pretty hard to move in six one turn. Oh man, imagine if he makes the movement 6-1 turn. What a legend. Yeah, maybe he's got to do the pass now. Gets the pal. It's probably all over. He probably should have done the pass first, right? Because it's, it's getting to the point where he might not even be in range. <laughs> but uh, I don't think he can do it now with a pal. Yeah, the one time, the one time he rolls a power. Nah, he rolled some powers, didn't he? But interesting game, wasn't it? I I don't know who played better. <laughs> I feel like probably Shawnee got the worst dice, but neither really got great dice, did they? But then. PTK got the score, which was pretty, you know, the 5 plus pickup. Weird. Weird game. Interesting, though. Interesting, weird game. So there you go. Right, I don't know if, uh, if Flicky Flack is going to interview those guys or not. But what I'm going to do is end the stream right now. So, um... Hello and goodbye, Ansi. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.